the Armenian Culture Experience Day, great growth and advancement in the 20s and the 30s, after the instatement of Soviet rule in Armenia. After the successes of the Armenian studio, the National Conservatory was established. Romanos Melitian was one of the proponents of this project, who actively participated in the foundation of the conservatory. Starting from the 20s, there have been piano, violin, viola, and vocal classes in the conservatory. Many great composers graduated from the conservatory's composing faculty, opened in 1930. Prominent chairpersons of the faculty have been Sarkis Parhudarian, Haro Stepanian, and Varkes Dalian. Another important branch of the conservatory was the research branch, which later on was changed to the Academy of Arts and Sciences, then to Institute. In 1937, Konstantin Melik Vartanesian, Samson Kasparian, and Zavin Vartanian founded the Music Theater Department. The first symphony performance in Armenia in 1924 was in fact the birth of the Armenian Symphony Orchestra. The chamber orchestra was formed by Armenian music students studying in Moscow. This orchestra was later named the Komitas Chamber Orchestra. The founding members were Avet Gabrielian, first violin, Levin Ohanjian, second violin, Mikhail Derian, viola, and Sergei Atlanian, cello. The most active and popular traditional music ensemble was the Radio Committee's Traditional Instrumental Ensemble, conducted by Adam Merangulian. Katul Altunian created the Armenian Song and Dance Ensemble in 1938. In 1932, the Union of the Composers started to function, which united the Republic's professional composers and musicians. Today, the Chair of the Composers and Musicians Union is the composer Robert Amikhanian. Within the first few years of its existence, Armenian, Western, and Russian operas were staged at the Opera Theatre like Tchaikovsky's Eugene Onegin, Bizes Carmen, Verdi's Regoletto, and Traviata. In 1935, the opera theater's name was changed to Theater of Opera and Ballet, since ballet performances were being staged as well. The first ballets performed were Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, Alexander Glazunov's Raymonda, and so on. The performances of the opera and ballet were accomplished by the efforts of composer Romanos Melikian, musicologist Mushel Agayan, conductors Konstantin Sarajevo and Gevor Budavian, and ballet master Ilya Arbatov and painter Martiro Sarian. Some of the famous classical vocal performers of the time were Haikonis Danielian and Shara Dalian. The Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra was formed in 1932, which was composed of orchestra, choir, and chamber orchestra.